Hey guys, um, I'm just gonna be making a an advanced cube shape tutorial for cubing world. So I guess I'll just jump in right into it. So basically, um, when you just start out um, solving the square one, you learn to do cube shape through this method by first getting these all eight edges into one, then using an algorithm to get it back into a cube. Uh, that can pre prove as very inefficient because um, the majority of the shapes um, take a lot of moves to get to that position. So um, this video will be basically be geared toward beginners at square one. I'll be showing you a new method for cube shape. So instead of getting the eight edges around each other, you want to get it in, in, into this position. It is known as scallop kite. This, this position. From this position, we can do a slash negative one, negative two, slash negative three, slash. Okay, so alternatively, you could also do uh, you could you could also do kite scallop. Uh, this one goes like this, like that. So, I'll just show you a few examples. Um, okay, so we have this shape right here, like this. Um, how do we get to this into a scallop kite? Well, what we could do is, I see these two adjacents. I can bring it down to here to create a kite down here and a scallop. Um, one thing you should know to create a kite, you should have um, a pair like these two. You need a pair or a line, or you could have two adjacents, which you just saw. And then from there, you could solve it. Okay. Um, let's see. Here is another one now okay for this one instead of having an adjacent on here you have a uh, what is it called the line uh... In, but if you bring this adjacent down it's not gonna form a kite you're gonna form a fist instead so what you can do you could bring this adjacent down first kicking out this line like that and then now you have an adjacent down here and an adjacent up here okay here's another one uh... here we go we have these four as well as these and this so um, this is also pretty straightforward. You just line up this pair and this line to create a kite. Like that. Okay. Um, and most, this is mostly intuitive. Okay, here we have a scallop up here and we have a fist down here. Um, we notice that we do have a pair right here. This pair. There are two ways to solve this. Um, I'll be showing first. I'll be showing you the good way, and you know I'll just show you the good way. I don't want to show you the bad way. So you got these, and you know that if you get a line somehow get a line here, you could create into a kite. So what you could do, you could use this adjacent um, L to turn it into a line. So you could do this. So you got a line. You got a line right there. Okay. Again, you put this up into the scallop to make a line like that. And there we go. You have a kite. Okay. Um. Here's another example. Okay. We have a scallop pawn. Um, in this, we ha we see we have a pair right 
adjacent right here, a pair. We also have a line. Those are the necessary ingredients to make a kite. But they're not aligned properly. So what you could do, you could put the scallop off to the side and then bring this up, move the pair over and bring it back down. Now you have a scallop kite. Um, let me just solve this. I don't like unsolved cubes. Um, sorry, this is taking a while. Um, okay. Um, here's another one, I guess. Um, okay, so now we have a scallop muffin. Here we go. Um, we have an adjacent here, and I mean a pair here and an L here. You could bring this L up to create a line and the pair. Okay, and basically all this comes down to practice. Um, if you keep on practicing square one, you should get these moves down. And uh, yeah, so and now I'll just show you a few cube shapes you should know that um, you shouldn't use this method with. But before I do that, um, I guess I'll just give you, let's see, let's scramble this up a bit. Okay, so let's say we have this, we have a barrel, it's called a barrel, and this is a pond. Then let's just practice using this method. So we got a pond, I mean a muffin, yeah, muffin. We could pair it with this, pair like that now we have a line right here and a pair okay so now I'll just show you the some you don't need with that with K shape this first one kite kite you should already know that it's just that next is a uh, fist fist uh, the way you tell there's two kinds of fist there's opposite fist and similar fist Similar fist is the good one, opposite is the bad one. Um, to tell if they're similar fist, um, try and make it into, try and make them symmetrical like this. If they are symmetrical, then it's similar. If they're not, then you have an opposite. So the way you do this, uh, on one of them, you want to break up one of the pairs and bring up a pair. I don't know how to explain this, but if you do that, you should probably have um, a kite kite. Okay, here's another one. This one's a shield. See, it looks like a shield. And a square. Now, the way you solve a shield square, you hold the square as if, like, this was bandaged. And the shield with this pair, like that. And then you can slice it to make a similar fist. Okay. Okay. The next one is shield kite. Uh, to solve shield kite, uh, this is a little bit tricky at first, but you'll get the hang of it. Um, you can move this L shape over here to create a square. But so so to do that, you can kick this shield out of the way and move this L over. Now you just have shield square. Okay, so another one. Next one is, this one is a muffin, I don't know what this is, I've been confusing pond and muffin probably, I'm not, I'm not sure, um, whatever this is, probably pond, square, what you do is hold it like this, and do it, do that, so you have, now have a fist, yeah, and what else should I show? Okay, we have, I think this is a pawn, or muffin, so I'll just call them pawn muffins. Um, pawn, pawn, whatever. Um, there's two kinds of pawns, there's good pawn and bad pawn. Uh, good pawns, like fists, are symmetrical, like this, and opposite and bad ones are not. So, to solve this, you get it symmetrical like this, then split it up, and now you have a fist and a fist.
Okay. This one is up the bad pawn. Bad muffin, whatever. Um to do this, you can put them on opposite um sides of the slice and then slice it. Now what you have is the scallop scallop, which is another shape I was intending to show you guys. It's like this. You should know that already. And then and finally it's kite square. Now this is a new essence if you don't know the solution to this. So instead of showing you how I do this, I'll just post show you the algorithm. When you hold the kite so that this arrow is like facing that way and the square like normally. And then so what you do from here is slash negative one slash two slash negative two slash two slash negative one slash negative three slash so that takes seven twists and um let me solve this um and basically you could use that procedure to solve what is it called uh opposite fist because if you slash the first slash turns into the opposite fist and then so basically the second slash turns into a shield kite which I showed you and like this is an opposite fist if you ever get an opposite fist you can solve it like like that so um, if you guys would like to see more cube shapes you can um, if you want um, an optimal way to solve them because I don't clearly don't have all the cube shapes covered um, check out um, I found that Mike Huey has a good chart on his square one blindfolded site um, it's okay you don't need to learn how to solve square one blindfolded even I don't know that um, he has a good cube shape list there and you can use that for basically all the cube shapes so yeah um, thanks for watching guys